self-locking bolts and nuts, and lock washers. Cotter pins are used to secure castellated nuts on bolts, clevis pins, and other such devices, but not on studs. They can be installed and removed rapidly and are simple yet effective when used properly. A cutter pin is not a fastener. It is used to lock fastening devices in place. When it is necessary to replace a cutter pin, use a new pin only. Make sure there are no kinks or bends in the pin. The preferred method of installing the cutter pin in castellated nuts and bolts is to put the head parallel to the slot in the nut. As an alternate method, install the cotter pin with its head horizontal to the slot in the nut. Use the alternate method where the configuration of aircraft components makes it essential for clearance or where access is difficult. Install cotter pins in rotating parts with the head forward in the direction of rotation. Install cotter pins in stationary bolts with the heads up or facing forward wherever possible. Lock pins are spring steel pins with a straight side and a rippled side. The rippled side with its spring action holds the pin in place. Install the straight side of the pin through a hole in a peg or clevis. Once it is snapped into place, the pin acts as a barrier, preventing an item from accidentally sliding off the pin or clevis. The lock pin should never be used in place of a cotter pin or in any situation where stress is applied to it. Quick release pins are used in securing access doors and panels and weapons mounts. They are spring loaded and allow easy removal of doors, panels or weapons. To release the pin, pull the ring or handle at the top of the pin. This unlocks the device and allows the pin to be pulled free. Check to make sure that the hinge pin is in good working condition. As long as the spring and locking device are functional, the pin will not come loose. Self-locking bolts are used on aircraft to provide tight assemblies which will resist severe vibration conditions, such as those associated with transmission mounts. The locking element is a nylon or equivalent insert in the threaded section of the bolt. The locking action of the insert takes place at the point of engagement of the screw or nut section. Self-locking bolts are reusable, except in single bolted structural joints, which serve as a primary load path. Self-locking nuts do not require safety wiring or a cotter pin, but lock themselves into place. 
The locking device is built into the nut. There are two general types of self-locking nuts. The all-metal nut and the non-metallic insert nut. The all-metal self-locking nut depends on the ability of the metal and the nut to regain its shape after the locking portion is engaged by the threads of the bolt or screw. When the nut is threaded onto the bolt, the locking portion is stretched much like wrapping a rubber band tightly around your finger. The elastic quality of the metal makes it want to return to its normal shape. This action increases the friction between the threads of the bolt and the nut and will hold the nut in place even under severe vibration. The non-metallic insert self-locking nut depends on an insert of nylon fiber or rubber to provide the locking action. As the nut is tightened onto the bolt or stud, the insert stretches and forces contact between itself and the threads of the bolt. Never reuse all metal or non-metallic insert self-locking nuts on transmissions, engine mounts, engine controls or systems, and single bolted structural joints, or in any other critical application where failure could cause loss of the aircraft or endanger life. Lock washers are used as locking devices under primary fasteners, such as bolts, nuts, or screws. There are three types of lock washers, the split ring, the internal tooth, and the external tooth. Each has a specially designed feature to give it its locking action. The sides of the split ring washer are pulled slightly apart and act as a spring. The locking action is provided by the nut being screwed down on top of the washer and compressing it. When compressed, it exerts pressure upward on the nut and downward on the work. For purposes of this demonstration, a common washer is used above the split ring. Check your technical manual for proper installation in each case. The internal and external tooth lock washers provide their locking action in the same way. Both have teeth which dig into the bottom of the nut and the top of the work when the nut is tightened. Use only low torque with these lock washers. High torque could crush the washer, flatten the teeth, and prevent any locking action. If you worked on safety procedures for this aircraft, are you sure that the nuts you installed are tight? That the bolts are secured? The pins are not bent? And the lock washer's in good condition? When it comes to aircraft safetying, there are no multiple choices. You must select all of the above and more. Remember, never apply a safety until you know exactly where it is to be attached and what you are attaching it to.